स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया students so in the last class we learnt about uh, the concepts of a unit tangent vector and the equation of uh, a normal plane at a point p to the curve uh, to a given curve r is equals to ft and uh, our equation uh, of the normal plane was something like capital r minus a small r dot product with dr dt this is not this is not a zero vector because uh, the dot product is always uh, yell the dot product always yells um, uh, a scalar uh, quantity. Now um, I can also write this equation in terms of the um, in terms of the Cartesian coordinate system. So how we are going to do that? We can write capital R as that capital X Y Z, and a small R as that point P, which is basically small x small y small z dot product with dr dt can be written as dx dt, dy dt, and dz dt equals to 0. So, I can take it as x capital X minus small x dot product with dx dt capital Y minus small y uh, times dy dt and capital Z minus small z times dz dt. So, this is basically this is just some a simple uh, dot product formula. So, this is the required equation of a normal plane at a certain at a given um, or at a point p to the curve uh, r is equals to ft. All right. So, let us work out an example just to make uh, things clear. So, given a space curve, we take the same example x equals to t y equals to t square and z equals to 2 by 3 t cube. So, here we have to find out the equation of the uh, normal plane. So, of course, we can write r is equals to x i y j and z k where all these variables are function of t. So, I can write t i plus 2 t j plus uh, this one will be uh, 2 t square k and uh, from here uh, sorry 2 by 3. Uh, so, we are not differentiating it. So, let I, I thought we are differentiating. So, we, so far we are not differentiating we are just writing the equation of the curve. So, let us write the equation of the curve first. So, uh, this one is basically t square and 2 by 3 t cube. So, from here we can write dr dt equals to i plus 2 t j plus uh, 2 t square k all right. So, this is the required equation uh, of the ve um, of the this is the required tangent vector d r d t. Now, uh, from here we can calculate. Um, so, from here we can calculate uh, our uh, uh, how to say uh, the equation of the normal plane in, in the vector form. So, capital R is our uh, so, capital R is basically capital X, capital Y, capital Z. So, first of all, we will write uh, this thing here. So, dot product with dr dt. So, dot product with dr dt. dr dt is uh, 1, 2t, two 2t two square. So, this is 1, 2t and 2t square equals to 0. All right. And, uh, um, from here, uh, we can choose let us say any point where we want to calculate the normal vector. So, suppose uh, for t equals to 1, the point will be 1, 1 and 2 by 3. Okay. So, let us calculate that normal plane at the point t equals to 1. So, at the point t equals to 1, the point um, p will be 1, 1 and 2 by 3. So, I can write this as a capital R x comma y comma z minus uh, the point will be 1, 1 and 2 by 3 
and our derivative uh, this um, uh, how to say the d i d t will be 1 2 and uh, 2 all right equals to 0. So, from here I can write x minus 1 capital X minus 1 plus capital Y minus 1 times 2 plus capital as uh, capital Z minus 2 by 3 times also 2 equals to 0. So, these are all capitals. So, these are all capital Z. All right. So, this is basically the equation of the uh, equation of the uh, tangent plane uh, sorry equation of the normal plane at a point uh, t equals to 1. So, that at t equals to 1 the point is um, uh, the point is 1 1 2 by 3 and the derivative this d at dt is basically 1 2 2. So, just take the dot product and that will give you the required equation of the normal plane. So, it is really not complicated to calculate. Um, we can leave it uh, here or we can also express it in terms of the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So, that is up to us. All right. So, this is how we calculate the normal plane at a certain point p to a curve. Next um, like a unit tangent vector we will move to uh, unit normal and uh, binormal. So, what do we mean by these things? So, the thing is we are slowly moving towards uh, serrate Fresnel formula. All right. So, first of all we know unit tangent vector right. So, we know unit tangent vector which is given by T cap and uh, we have shown that or we know that d r d s if we have a curve given in terms of the arc length then d r d s is basically t cap and t cap is a unit vector or unit tangent vector all right and um, we also know the equation of the tangent plane as capital r minus a small r cross product with uh, d r d t. Uh, so, d r d t can be um, uh, can be replaced with uh, uh, rep can be replaced with uh, uh, t cap because we divide d r d t by its uh, um, magnitude and then we multiply it on the right hand side. So, that will be 0. So, ultimately uh, we will have a uh, t cap here as well. So, this is uh, not very complicated to see all right and uh, next we define the unit normal. So, unit principle normal. So, we have normal plane or normal now we are talking about unit normal n cap all right. So, from here uh, there is a small statement. So, the statement is uh, suppose uh, uh, this uh, d uh, this length of t the length of t is constant. So, since how to say the length of the tangent uh, this unit tangent vector is constant then in that case uh, d t d s the its derivative will be 0 and uh, and if it is not 0 then in that case d t d s. So, if it is not 0 then in that case d t d s will be perpendicular to t all right. So, if uh, this uh, d t d s uh, that the derivative of t with respect to s if it is not 0 then in that case it is perpendicular to t and uh, therefore, it will be a normal at the point p. So, you have a tangent vector and uh, if we differentiate the tangent vector and if d t d s uh, is uh, not equals to 0 then uh, this d t d s will be actually perpendicular to the tangent vector t at the point p. So, what do we mean by this? Um, let me write this in terms of a statement. So, since uh, the length of t is constant, its derivative d t d s d t d s if not 0. So, if it is not 0 must be 
perpendicular to T perpendicular to T all right and uh, therefore uh, it will be a normal therefore it will be normal to the curve at the point P. So, if it is not 0, then in that case uh, this, uh, this d t d s will be perpendicular to the tangent uh, uh, to the tangent this uh, t cap or unit tangent vector at the point P. And, uh, and a directed line and a directed line uh, through P through P in the direction of in the direction of d t d s in the direction of d t d s is called the principal normal the principal normal to the curve at the point P. So, that means, uh, if um, if d t d s is not 0, then it is perpendicular to the curve P uh, to the curve at the point P and a directed line through P. So, if, it, if, if you have a directed line through P in the direction of d t d s, uh, then that directed line will be called as a principal normal. So, um, and uh, if n is the unit vector and if uh, n is the unit vector. So, we have a very uh, we have a small formula. So, if n is the unit vector uh, in the direction in the direction of the principal normal of the principal normal let us say n then we may write so then we may write d t d s is equals to kappa times n. So, this is basically kappa. So, you see n is basically a vector or a unit vector in, in the direction of d t d s and uh, this d t d s equals to kappa and this means that they are parallel to one another that means n is in the direction of d t d s and this n is called as uh, the unit principal normal. So, here where k is a non negative scalar and uh, n is called unit normal or unit principal normal. and kappa is called the curvature of the curve at the point P. So, this is not actually k, this is kappa, but um, uh, it is uh, sort of like a curly notation. So, I leave up to you. Now, how do you want to denote this notation, but it is basically kappa. So, kappa is actually the curvature of the curve at the point P and d t d s is equals to kappa n is the required um, is the required uh, formula for d t d s and uh, that is how it connects the unit principal normal with d t d s. So, here we can see that the direction of the unit principal normal and d t d s are the same and if d t d s is perpendicular to uh, to the curve at the point p, then in that case n is actually also perpendicular to the curve at the point p and it is a, a unit vector. Uh, so, it is basically unit principal normal all right and this kappa is the curvature of the curve at the point p. So, we have uh, basically learnt about tangent vector. Uh, unit tangent vector and unit principal normal all right now 
Now, uh, what we can do? We can write the unit by normal. By normal. So we know tangent vector, we know normal, and now we learn about uh, unit uh, by normal. So we introduce. Uh, another unit vector B cap defined by defined by B cap equals to T cap cross N cap, where B cap, N cap and T cap form a right handed a right handed system of orthogonal unit vectors. So, that means if you have this is x, this is y and this is z and let us say if this is my curve then in that case and if this is the point P let us say. So, I can write as uh, this as I am not very good at drawing. So, this could be our T, this could be our N and let us say B is in this direction. So, B, T, B, T and N. So, that is actually our um, how to say um, our uh, um, required um, this uh, right handed orthogonal unit vector. So, this is how B, T and N are connected. Now, uh, to define it formally a right a directed line a directed line through P through P in the direction of B is called a binormal to the curve at the point P and uh, we so um, we may call B as a unit binormal. So, we may call B as a unit binormal. So, B is a unit vector and uh, it is in the direction of uh, uh, it is in the direction of um, uh, so any any directed uh, any directed line through the point P in the direction of B uh, is called as the binormal and uh, then B is called as the unit binormal or we call B as a unit binormal. So, that means uh, when we have uh, this coordinate system y x and z and if we have i in this direction j in this direction and k in this direction then we know that i cross j equals to k uh, k cross j equals to uh, sorry j cross k equals to i and uh, k cross i equals to j. So, this we know for uh, i j and k similarly since b t and n forming um, they form uh, how to say a right handed uh, um, uh, system for unit vectors we can be able to write uh, b equals to b cap equals to t cross n then uh, uh, t cross then then uh, n equals to b cross t and t equals to n cross b all right so this is also true for these uh, uh, three vectors so i can take b n and or I can take T, B and N then in that case uh, it will yield the similar formula. So, this is uh, how normal unit normal and ten, uh, sorry uh, binormal normal uh, or uh, uh, unit binormal unit principal normal and unit tangent vector are connected with one another. And this is a very important formula to remember because uh, I mean sometimes you might be given tangent and uh, normal and then you are asked to calculate binormal. So, we, so we use the 
first formula. Similarly, uh, you could be given, um, um, I don't know, uh, binormal and tangent and you will be asked to calculate the normal. So, we use the, we use this formula. All right. So, now they are called uh, and they are also called as moving tetrahedral. So, uh, trihedral sorry not uh, tetrahedral. So, they are called as moving trihedral. So, they are 3 in number. So, they are called as trihedral. All right. And uh, now, uh, there is something called uh, torsion. We will introduce the concept of uh, torsion now. So, what is torsion? Uh, so, we have tangent normal and binormal. Now, we will introduce the concept of torsion. So, and another topic. So, why I am introducing all these things is because now I am slowly moving towards a serrat Brenner formula. So, we have these three. Now, we will introduce the concept of torsion. So, in the above relation, in the above relation we have defined that uh, B is equals to T cross N. So, we have defined that we have defined that B equals to T cross N, right? And uh, since B is a unit vector, B is a unit vector, DBD is if not 0. must be perpendicular must be perpendicular to b so it is a unit vector that means its magnitude is 1 but uh, uh, if it is not zero if it is not a zero vector then in that case dbds um, um, uh, the derivative of b with respect to arc length must be perpendicular to b all right and uh, here if i write b equals to T cross n, and if I differentiate both sides with respect to s, then dBds would be dTds cross product with n minus t cross product with dNds. Right? Now dTds is kappa n. All right. So I can write here kappa n. Sorry, kappa is a scalar quantity. Kappa n cross n minus t cross product with d n d s. Now, n cross n is a 0 vector uh, is a 0 vector because they are the I mean a cross a is 0. So, this is basically a 0 vector. So, k times 0 vector is again a 0 vector. Now, we subtract it. Uh, you add it in minus of t cross d n d n d n d s then it will remain the same. So, here we will obtain d b d s equals to d b d s equals to minus of T cross D N D S. All right. So from here uh, we can say that so D T D S and uh, why there is a minus sign? So there should not be any minus sign. So this is plus. Yes. So this is plus D uh, uh, T cross product with D N D S and then we have this thing. So of course it's plus. Now that means from here we can write. So, from here I can write uh, this d b d s is perpendicular perpendicular to t because d b d s equals to t cross d n d s. Now, d b d s and d n d s they are along the uh, same uh, so so d n um, this d b d s and uh, d n d s um, from here uh, we can say that this d b d s is actually perpendicular to this t cap uh, from this formula so from this formula we can be able to say that uh, d b d s is perpendicular to t but it is also perpendicular to b. So, it is also perpendicular to B, uh, we have stated here. So, it is perpendicular to B and it is perpendicular to T. That means, and must therefore 
be parallel to n. So, you have a vector which is perpendicular to both B uh, and T. So, if it is perpendicular to both B and T that means it must be along the direction of N because N is a vector which is perpendicular to T and B. So, the only possibility this DBDS has is to become parallel with N. So, if it is parallel to N then I can write DBDS equals to minus of tau N and uh, where tau is a scalar called as the torsion of the curve of the curve at the point P and the minus sign in this case is taken for uh, uh, has has I mean this the, the minus sign um, has uh, this purpose that uh, I mean basically um, uh, this uh, minus sign is taken because uh, how do I write it in, in a nice word. So, um, um, the minus sign is taken because because when tau is positive sorry when tau is positive so this is not t this is tau when tau is positive dbds has the direction of minus n then as p moves along the curve along the curve in the positive direction in the positive direction B revolves about T in the same sense as a right handed screw system right handed screw system advancing in the direction of T. So, it is taken purposely because uh, in the direction of T, it is taken purposely so that uh, it maintains that perpend perpendicularity condition that if you have DBDS as minus of n. So, then in that case uh, it will be along the curve in the positive direction. Uh, so, it will then um, and then as the cur as the point P moves along the curve then B will revolves about T in the same uh, sense as the right handed screw system. So, it will then form a right handed screw system like we stated earlier. So, that is why we have taken a minus sign all right. So, we have uh, minus DBDS is equals to minus of tau n and uh, therefore, to summarize we have derived uh, several types of formulas. So, first of all we have derived uh, d, dr ds equals to dr ds equals to t cap all right. Then we derived dr ds equals to t cap then we derived dt ds equals to uh, kappa n and then we derived db ds equals to uh, minus of tau n all right tau n. So, these are the three important formulas that we derive today. In the next class, we will uh, finally be able to derive the Serret Fernet formula. Uh, we will also work out few examples just to see why we need these formulas. So, today we will uh, stop here and um, I thank you for your attention and then we will continue with our uh, same topic in the next class. Thank you.